members of the band home with you tonight? Well, the answer is simple. Thanks to this magical device known as a compact disc, you can take all of them home with you tonight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And not only can you listen to fabulous music, this fantastic device has been scientifically proven to cure every ailment known to man. But don't take my word for it, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to the testimony of Mr. Catalyst Al Cinder of Aretha C. Haley Boulevard. This poor soul, so young, is in dire straits. Tell them, Mr. Al Cinder. My legs have grown weary and I have grown old age. A tragic case, ladies and gentlemen. But watch what happens when we press this magical device, this compact disc against his forehead. I can walk! I can walk, ladies and gentlemen! It's a miracle! And this same bank can be yours for just $15. Visit the taxi stand right over here where Miss Alicia... Alicia, would you hold up those CDs, please? Where Miss Alicia has the CDs, go over there for just $15. This compact disc can be all yours. And speaking of miraculous, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to welcome our maestro of magic to the stage. He has just spent a month in Bhutan where he dazzled courts and mesmerized maharajas. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to the stage a man with a sleight of hand so deft you can see it on the radio. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to our stage, Dante the Magician! Hello! Does that work now? It's magic! Magic! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to do this trick, I need you all to put your hands together and give a big round of applause for this lady right here. Can you please help me out? Come to the stage! Give her a big round of applause, everyone! Hello, darling. Hello. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. And where are you from? From New Orleans, fantastic, what are the chances? Lisa, thank you so much for volunteering. What are you gonna sing for us tonight? <laughs> never, never, never mind. Just hold on to the back, just like this, just perfect. Oh, that's perfect. You're gonna be ever so good at the part where you take your clothes off. <laughs> Lisa, what I want you to do is name any color in the world, any color at all. Right, green. <laughs> Reach your hand to the back. <laughs> you know, someday somebody's gonna say red, and that's gonna be a great trick. All right. <laughs> Fine. Lisa. This is how I stay so in shape. Lisa. Don't Lisa, name any... Well, and Lisa, you're gonna love this. Watch. It's the wrong end. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I always use my mouth. <laughs> Lisa? Lisa, stand next to the star. Stand next to... Stand next to the star, Lisa. You don't see the star? That's me. <laughs> Last time I did that was for a state trooper. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Yeah, I know. He said, son? If you've been drinking, take a bus home. I said, a bus? Hell, I can hardly drive my car. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. I very much believe in safety, which is why at this very moment, I'm wearing a condom. <laughs> oh, thank you, but it's important to remember, condoms are not completely safe, ladies and gentlemen. A friend of mine who's wearing one was hit by a bus. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, Lisa, you're gonna laugh at me. You're gonna laugh at me, but I, you know, I finally figured out what that little tip at the end of a condom store is to put your foot on when you take it off. You know, actually, I listen to a lot of news. I heard this today on the news. I, this is true. I listen to NPR. Somewhere in the world, every 10 seconds, there's a woman giving birth to a child. She must be found and stopped. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lisa. Sorry. 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 I'm sad I'm sorry. Lisa, I'm going to turn this ordinary piece of rubber into a beautiful, beautiful swan. A beautiful, beautiful swan. A lovely, beautiful swan. The water level's about there. Here's a swan with a boil on his beak. There, there it is. Looks, at least you don't look very impressed. That's what I'm gonna give this little lady here. There you are, you can have that, darling. Yes, you can have this. Yes. You recognize me, don't you? Yeah, I was on the jury. color in the world, and if you want, you can try to throw me off by saying red. What would you like? Red. Ladies and gentlemen, she, she said red. Reach your hand to the bag. Magic! Magic! Magic. Lisa, I'm going to turn this ordinary piece of rubber into any animal you want. It can be a dog, it could be a tiger, a giraffe, a a lion, a dog, a, a, a hippopotamus, a, a whale, a dog. And Lisa, remember, the harder you make it, the more fun we'll have. You can make it as hard as you want. Lisa, what would you like? Warthog. Fine, you can have your little moment, but you won't be chosen again, all right? All right. A warthog. Fine. Lisa, this is going to be a very happy warthog. Do you know why? Because this warthog is going to a Mardi Gras costume ball. And he's going as a dog. Now, Lisa, I'm not very fast at this. Would you entertain the rest of the audience for me? Still my tongue. I was getting too into it. Ladies and gentlemen, as if by magic, in front of your very eyes, I have a dog. Oops. A dog. This is a very special dog because this dog does tricks. Watch. Speak. Roll over. Play dead. Dog on. Does he walk? Hand me the back, doctor. I know you're not a doctor, but I call myself a magician, so I figured why not. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen.
Sir, is that your lady? Yeah, small world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going. Wait, what's, I don't know what the hell's next. What the hell's next? Ladies and gentlemen, what? Should I get off the stage? I guess I should. I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. My name is Dante. Thank you.